I'm Neo. This is going to be your weekly love reading. This is a situation where I feel like there's someone really missing you. They're going through a lot. Four of cups, five of cups energy is what I'm feeling out here. You are not communicating with this person. The two of you are not together. This is one of the cards that came out in the pre-shuffle, which is please unblock me. So definitely no communication between you and this person. They miss you. They want to connect with you. They, even if you block this person on the phone, um, they, you know, they're thinking about what they want to say to you. For some of y'all, you don't, may not have this person blocked, but they want you to, you know, you may have done a core cutting with this person and said, I'm done with this energy. I don't want to feel it anymore. You know, I don't want to speak to you, but this person really has a lot to say to you. They want to communicate. This person wants to tell you how much they underestimated what you brought into their life. They want to talk to you about how important you were. I think this person is just realizing like what you brought, the joy that you brought into their life. Raheem Devon, Mo Betta is playing right now. And I believe that song is about like, obviously a masculine who is thinking about a woman who brought, or male, whoever you see, you know, whoever you're seeing, but yeah, this person's definitely thinking about you. So let's get some more energy out here because this person wants you, they want to talk. They're hoping that you're going to listen to what they have to say. And most of what this person has to say is I definitely feel like I'm so sorry. I just didn't act right. I didn't do right. I underestimated you. And so this is telling me if this person underestimated who you were, then this person went somewhere else. They chose something else. They thought something else was going to be better. And, and that situation is not better. It wasn't better. Or I don't even know if I feel like there's a, how can you compare? I don't even feel like you can, can really compare the two situations or whatever it is that this person may have chosen. For some of y'all, this person could have chosen not to be in a relationship that, because they were not ready to commit. Maybe they wanted to focus on their career. Maybe they wanted to focus on their, their kids, their family. Maybe they're taking care of a family member. I mean, it doesn't always have to be a third party karmic, right? It could be somebody choosing career over love or family over love or just being single over love, right? Because you don't always have to want to be in a relationship all the time. But whatever it is that this person chose, they thought that it was going to make them happy and they're realizing that's not what's making them happy. That's not what was making them happy. You were making them happy, collective. You were the person that brought the joy into this person's life. And now for those of you, if this person wasn't ready to commit, honey, they're ready to commit now. This says I'm ready for commitment. So they're real. I'm telling you, it's it's a huge this person wants to get this off of their shoulder here. They said, I ran because I wasn't ready for you. Yeah, that's exactly the energy out here. They weren't ready to commit to you. Again, for various reasons, everybody's story is going to be different here. But this person can't get you out of their mind. Um, they're craving you physically, but really a lot of emotion here, I feel. Um, and a lot, of, a lot of daydreaming. Yeah, I can't let you go. Yeah, they're they're having a, a rough time. They're having a rough time here. They can't get they feel drawn to your energy. They feel drawn to you. All they can do is think about you. Hmm. Yeah, see, your energy is intoxicating and it's pulling me in. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. Oof. Boy, no matter how try hard this person tries, this person's ready to take their mask off. And be honest with you. They want to talk. They felt like, you know, here's the deal. This person knows that whatever they did to you was wrong, right? They believe that you deserved better than what they offered you. They know. They definitely know. This person wants a future with you. Okay? Literally, this card says, I want a future with you. Somebody here could be watching your social media or looking at your pictures or admiring you somewhere here. On, I know that energy always comes out, but I have to tell you when it comes out here. So somebody here is looking at your social media, Facebook. They, they still care about you here. They do. They do still care about you. And they really want to know if you're still thinking about them too. 
They wish things were different. They really do. They wish things were different. This person admires your beauty. And I feel like a lot of you guys, you know, that beauty is not just on the outside. That beauty reflects on the inside. How you treat people, how you show up for the people in your life, uh, what you mean to your family and your friends. You're someone who is very special, someone who's very supportive. This person's heartbroken over you. Three of Swords. Could be a Libra. You could be a Libra. Somebody here could be a Capricorn, okay? Somebody's definitely heartbroken over the way that they treated you and how toxic they were, um, you know. They're obsessively thinking about you. Look at that, Five of Swords. They played some mind games. This person's in their head over what they did. They're in their head a lot because they're over. they're overthinking a lot. They're thinking about you so much. They're thinking about giving to you six of pentacles here. They want to give something to you. I'm telling you, they want to give you a commitment and they're ready to rush in towards you here. You could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. We have a king of pentacles out here. They feel like you don't want what they have to give. They're ready to rush in here and bring you this offer, but they feel like you don't want to take it. You're like, no, thank you. Again, seven of wands. This is about you protecting your energy, protecting your space. This could even be, like I said, a physical block. No phone contact, you know what I'm saying? Like no communication. You're you're not trying to hear it. You're not interested. You're doing everything that you can to protect your sanity. You're doing everything that you can to protect your life and and, and make sure that you have a life that's drama free. That's what the seven of wands is, protecting your peace, you know. This person wants to come towards you. Very heavy uh, Libra energy out here. It could be an air sign with the Justice card. They want to come in and, and I'm telling you, bring balance back into a situation between the two of you. Especially with the Six of Pentacles being here. They want to make this right. Yeah. This person, I'm telling you, they think you are super duper attractive. Like, they think you just so beautiful and again and queen of wands is somebody who's beautiful they're magical they have a lot of charisma they're a leader they're not a follower here yeah look at that something about you you could be an earth angel somebody who does magic they feel like you're an earth angel or something or like it, it's like look at all this magic and this protection this protection there's a lot of spiritual protection around you if you resonate as a divine feminine you could be a Leo. You don't have to be. You could be a Sagittarius here with this temperance energy. <sighs> Show me more here. The Tower card. Scorpio energy here. The Two of Wands. Somebody here could have experienced a Tower moment in their life. And they're having to heal something here. Somebody's doing some shadow work, I feel like. Could be you. They view you. They, it would, could have been a shock to this person when you turned your back on them and decided to heal and focus on yourself, right? Which I feel like you are already in that energy because because why else would you be feeling the need to protect yourself from this person and protect your energy and your space and block them, Right. But here's the thing, it's that you doing that has this person thinking nonstop about you obsessively and then pushing them to change and face their shadow side and like do the healing and do the work, which is where that three of swords energy came in. This person's heartbroken and now they're realizing like, oh shoot, they're waiting on you to come back. They're waiting on this reconciliation with this two of wands, but like the tower and the judgment, like it could be a shock to this person that you're not coming back. They may feel like you're not coming back. They feel, may feel like it's over and they're, they're praying here. Aquarius energy with the star. They're praying for a reconciliation and waiting. Yeah. A lot of praying energy out here. They're still holding on to you secretly. With this four of pentacles, this high priestess here. Their intuition is telling them with this, okay, strong Pisces energy here with the high priestess and the hangman, by the way. So you could be a Pisces. Your person could be a Pisces here, but, you know, apply it where it fits. This person knows that whatever old beliefs it's just that they're holding on to, they got to do some changing. Something has to change.
Queen of Pentacles just wanted to come out. Clarify the hangman. This person's stuck. They can't move on. Yeah. They're seek they're in their feelings. They're in their emotions. I don't know what this person's hiding though here. There's some secretive or quiet energy here with the high priestess and this moon energy here. They're afraid to, I don't know, let you go. They're what's this high priestess energy and the moon energy about? A lot of emotion. They could be secretly hiding their emotion for, from you, acting like they don't care. They're hiding this. They three of pentacles. This person wants to come back and work together with you. They want to make this work, but they feel like <laughs> you've moved on. Chariot card, Cancer energy here. They feel like you've moved on. Five of Swords. They feel like. They played too many games here, and it's too late. You walked away, Eight of Cups. Nine of Wands. They really want to fight with it. They really want to fight for this. But there's a this person's waiting. Hmm. They may have taken too long. That's what they're concerned about. The world. With the Six of Cups. Since this has been over, this person has been thinking about you real heavily. They miss you. And we already talked about that here with the Six of Cups. You can feel like this person is just, is a soulmate. They're definitely your Divine Masculine. The Emperor's out here. Could be dealing with an Aries. The, the World card. They are just... It's over for them. In their head, in their mind, they really feel like this is over. And all they have left of you are the memories. Um, there, here we go. Look at this. The Empress is here now with the Seven of Swords. Let me clarify this. What's the Seven of Swords here? Uh-oh. What's the Seven of Swords? They may be secretly thinking of a plan or trying to create a plan. Confusion. They're confused. They don't know what's going on with you. They know that you set boundaries with them, with this Queen of Swords and the Seven of Cups. They're confused. They don't know if you've like... Give me one more on the Seven of Swords. The magician, the Gemini energy. Could be dealing with the Gemini here. The, somebody wants to talk and tell you the truth. Ace of Swords. Somebody's realizing something. Wherever there was some confusion, I feel like, this, like I said, this person's doing a lot of shadow work. The Hermit, Virgo energy. And they want to talk. Whatever it is that this person is realizing, they want to talk about that with this Page of Wands. Clarify this Queen of Swords. The hair up front. You were a spiritual lesson for this person and definitely an earth angel. With this hair font being here in the Queen of Swords. This person's been watching you. Like I said, Page of Swords, Ten of Swords. Um, there's some energy here with this Seven of Cups, I feel like. There are some talkers, maybe some gossip. I don't know what that is about. Clarify the Seven of Cups. The Strength card, the Seven of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. This Two of Pentacles is like somebody is trying to decide whether or not they want to continue to put effort into something. <clears throat> This person's going, been going back and forth. I feel like you. this person's definitely waiting or they're tired of waiting on you. They're about to lose it, I feel like. Leo energy's here. Clarify the strength card. Yeah, they're holding back. They're, they're stuck in their head, holding back. Think about communication. Eight of swords, right? Um, eight of wands. Somebody could be born in 1988. They don't have to be. 
devil energy the capricorn came back out could be dealing with a capricorn this person is obsessively thinking about watching you but they're not doing it i mean thinking about they definitely could be obsessively watching you but they're obsessively thinking about what action they're going to take towards you what they're going to do what they're going to say to you obsessively thinking about texting you or calling you or contacting you or something they're going back and forth in their head but the thing is is that they can't get over you but it's over like they it's over but they do want another beginning for sure the lovers gemini energy once again it's scorpio energy here with this death energy either this person knows they are going to have to change if they come back around they cannot come back as the same person doing the same shit they're definitely thinking about you physically here the lovers is here and i think we already have the emperor and the empress so definitely a divine counterpart here there's a soul tie king of cups knight of cups yo they are thinking about you like nobody's business but something still got this person stuck you know their thoughts have them stuck you know, here's the deal. That's why they're moving so slow. But the thing is, it, they're, because they're going through this dark night of the soul, I feel like, and doing all this reflecting, and they're having all these realizations, um, it's just going to take them a little while to get it. It's going to take them a little bit longer to get it. I, I don't feel like this is a quick, it's been a quick process. I feel like this is a, somebody really showing up in their true authentic, like authenticity. Like they're they're being real with themselves about how they really feel about you. They're being real with themselves. Finally, they're being real with themselves <laughs> about how they feel about you. It took them a while. I feel like it took them a while. They want to know if you can work. Can can the two of you work this out? That's if you want them back. So, and, and would you forgive them? They want to make it right. Yeah, I've said, I said that. Thank you, spirit. I see myself in you. See, here's the deal. They do look up to you. They look up to you for you being able to work through whatever devil energy. You already work through your devil energy, right? You already done the work on your shadow self. But they haven't. They see they they whatever they see in you is gives them hope for what they could be. You fill me up with happiness. This person genuinely wants to see you happy. They genuinely want you to enjoy your life. So I feel like you know when this person comes back around, they do want to show up with their best foot forward. To be quite honest, they do. But um, I feel, still feel like they're in this energy of like, I don't know if now is the right time because maybe they're still working through whatever this other stuff is that they have going on in the background. Um, they do know they need to make this right here with the justice card and um, this energy. Um, could be a twin with the mirroring energy being here too, but they want to ask for your forgiveness. So, you know, that's up to you. Let's get one more card. Thank you. I'm scared you will reject me. I think we talked about that, right? They're definitely afraid you're going to reject them. Um, hey, you by Floor Tree is playing right now. And I think they're saying, um, um, I tried to leave you know, I, or if I try to come back, will you take me back if I try to come back someday? I've been watching your social medias and admiring your pictures. I can't go another day without you. I keep hoping to bump into you everywhere I go. I'm on my way to you. I want to apologize. I need your forgiveness. I'm afraid that I've lost you forever. Yeah, yeah, they are. I don't know if y'all can see that, but all right, that's your reading. You guys hit the like button, share, subscribe to the channel. If you're new here, make sure your notification bell is turned on to all and I love you. Good night. Good night.